In this video, we are going to look at how to use data aware components in Delphi to access and manipulate a database. We are going to start by planning a two table database in Word. So you should use a Word document and plan a, a database with at least two tables. You can see that in my example, I like sailing. So I've created a database with two tables, a table owners, owners of boats, and a table boats. So each owner can have a number of boats, but every boat can have only one owner. When you do this planning in your Word document, which you must also submit, by the way, you will need to indicate what your primary keys are in each of the tables, as well as what the foreign key is. Make sure that you follow these steps. Make sure that you have at least five data types and that you end up with a normalized table before you start using Delphi. Your next step will be to create an empty database in MS Access. And then, once you've created your empty database, MS Access automatically puts in one table with no fields in or no contents. So go back into MS Access and delete that table so that you have a real empty database. So now we can move on to Delphi. And these instructions indicate that you need two screens per table. You do have two tables, so at least four screens. And on the first screen for each of the tables, display the entire database. On the second screen, display a single record of that table in separate fields. And the screen must have components, in other words, buttons, to do the following. So when a user clicks on one of these components, that must happen. Okay, the above two screens, one to show the entire table and one to show the record by record for the same table, must be present for each table in the database. Our next step, plan and program your four screens. I think a main menu component and four panels might be perfect for this. Remember to label all your components and all your items according to convention. Have a button to create your tables using SQL. In other words, you've already created an empty database, but with uh, no tables, now you should create your tables using SQL. And make sure that all your SQL commands allocate primary keys as well as foreign keys to that table. Display your tables using a DB grid, that's probably the easiest component. And finally, check your project against the rubric here below. This is ultimately where you will get your marks or not. So right at the start of the project, let's have a quick look at what we want to achieve. Run this program and I start having an interface with some panels. You can see there's one panel over here. There's the little line, the edge of the panel. And then a menu item with owners with three items and boats with three items. The first item here on each of those two menus is to create table owners. I already have a database called Sailing with no tables in it. So let's click on Owners and you can see from the little pop-up here that the table has been created and let's create the boat table. It's important to do these in sequence because table boats is linked to table owners because every boat belongs to an owner. So do owners first in my case and boat second. In your case, you will have to do a similar sequence. Great, so that table has also been created. And now, if we view all the items in table owners, there should be nothing. And you can see there is nothing. The same with table boats. So you should now go and fill up your database with some data. I will do that as well and be back in a moment. So I've gone and entered the data. Let's have a look. Show all owners. And there my owners are, and show all boats, and there they are. Furthermore, this program should allow you to edit a single field. So let's show or edit a single owner. And you can see there's an owner with his first name, email, and cell number. And we have these options in buttons. So the first record, this is the first record. The next record is that one. The previous record takes us back to John Black. The last record is Jan Smit, and we can insert a record, edit a record, and delete a record, or we can search by name. So let's search for uh, Black, and there we get John Black. And now, if I say next or, or first or previous, it does nothing because there's only one Black in the table. And the same goes for boats. So that's what you want your program to do. 
Now let's have a look at how to get this done. 